everybody and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the haunted event and also the season six of modern warfare 3 and warzone we're gonna have a little look at everything we know of so far obviously once more information comes out once we do get the roadmap i'll take a deeper dive into all that uh, with yourselves but for now we're gonna jump into all the juicy information we have so far this weekend we have just literally had the closed beta of black ops 6 and obviously from tomorrow evening uk time you're going to be able to go ahead and play it all over again as the open beta it is a pretty cool game so far i'm not too keen on the movement system personally myself but it's just something that i need to adapt to once i fully adapted to it i think it'll be all good but it does feel like a good old traditional black ops game so let me know how you've been cracking on with that all right so let's jump into everything in regards to season six there's a lot to get through so sit back relax and enjoy today's video if you do feel free to drop a like subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications as you don't want to miss a single video here on the channel so in terms of the download and update then guys i'm predicting around about 30 40 gigabyte update in all fairness and um, we're not going to be getting a season six reloaded this time because roughly when we would be seeing the reloaded that's when black ops 6 is going to be dropping uh, so potentially it might be a slightly lower update however we are expecting to see the brand new hq all update with the next update as well so season six is so supposed to start on the 18th of september so we'll probably expect some kind of update a few days prior to that and like i said there's going to be no season six reloaded uh, so essentially we're only going to be getting half a season at uh, this time round due to black ops 6 coming out towards the end of october now we should also be receiving a trailer and blog roughly a week from today uh, so probably next wednesday we should expect something and over the next few days maybe monday or tuesday we should start seeing some artwork as well and some drops on what the characters are going to be in the battle pass there is going to be two new dlc weapons which have been found uh, by leaker over on twitter now the images i found are google images going off what the names um, that are coded so far so we are going to be getting a brand new assault rifle which is a hk heavy counter assault rifle uh, it's basically like a new modern bar the bar was a pretty good weapon back in the day and um, so the fact that they've modernized it and made it something for this i'm looking forward to using that and gunning down as many enemies as possible and then also we're finally going to get in a brand new lmg now we haven't had anything since the time eradicate since season one and we are going to be getting like i said the brand new lmg which is going to be called the rp lg 20 and due to no season six reloaded i do believe that we're only going to be getting the two dlc weapons now sometimes in the roadmap we do get a classified section and usually that is a brand new dlc weapon so more than likely what we're going to be seeing is a melee weapon we've seen that in the past where we get two new weapons and then also we get a melee weapon uh, but who knows we might get something that that's going to cross over into black ops 6 as well as a final third weapon it's just something uh, that we're not too sure on in terms of leaks so far as soon as i get more information and the roadmap i'll get you all the confirmations of any potential third dlc weapon but let me know what you think about a brand new lmg coming into the game are you guys lmg users let me know down below in terms of the battle pass then it doesn't seem to be like a halloween spooky theme due to season six dropping earlier than normal this year because usually we do get the new call of duty a bit later than the date that we are seeing this year so with that being said it does look like we're going to be getting two operators so the main operator for season six battle pass is going to be called aleandro and um, now we have recently found in the files he will have a few different styles and skins as well so that you know the people that like to leak stuff all over twitter uh we have actually found they've actually found a lot of different styles and skin variants that you guys be able to either purchase or unlock throughout the course of season six now the second operator potentially to drop in in season six as well is going to roman over she was actually leaked um earlier this year i believe roughly around maybe season one uh, but she was actually leaked earlier in the modern warfare 3 cycle she was leaked roughly the same time as kate laswell i did actually cover this quite a few um seasons ago like i say it might be in season one or two around that time um, but it was rumored that she was supposed to be coming in as well we are yet still to see her so potentially uh, we should be seeing her in season six now like i said she is in the final still as a potential operator coming into the game it's just a matter of obviously sledgehammer just activating it into the game it is in the files now as a lot of you guys are aware we have seen a lot of crossovers in the past the likes of the scream and many many more fan favorites i'll throw a few images up on screen as we're talking in terms of the crossovers we are supposed to get in season six so arriving in season six then of course we are like i said we're going to be getting the haunting event um, it does look like we're going to be getting jason uh, coming into the game there's a lot 
of rumors and a lot of leaks going on about him and there's a few artworks out there that's been leaked some are also fan created but it is looking like jason is coming into the game and then we're also going to be getting stan as well from trick or treat is also rumored to happen don't forget though guys last year we did get i believe it was five crossovers in total in terms of all the different operators and skins you could unlock which were pretty awesome and so the fact that they're fishing two there's a good chance there's going to be a few more maybe some returning fan favorites as well maybe saw could be coming in who knows let me know down below exactly who you'd like to see in these crossovers like literally some of the people i would like to see coming over the crossovers is freddy krueger michael myers beetlejuice jason varnies like i say there could be four five six you never know on how many they could potentially be but it's going to be very interesting and then in regards to multiplayer then there's going to be a few map reskins like we've had prior with lights of vortex and some other events that we've currently had in this game as well let me know what kind of maps you'd like to see reskin maybe could we see rust terminal there's so many different maps that we could go ahead and see i know we saw quarry and a few others in vortex i believe scrapyard was one of them as well and they're a really cool looking map they could potentially do something very very similar and we're also going to be getting some brand new and returning game modes as well so we are going to get horror point which will be returning also with a haunted version of infected and potentially going to see something with kill confirmed like we've seen prior as well von dead returns as well it has been leaked by multiple leakers over on twitter and um, that von dead will be returning for the haunted event and maybe rebirth island could also get a haunted event map who knows uh, there could be quite a few different things that could do with this potentially in terms of crossovers and what could happen i would really really love a rebirth island kind of crossover don't forget previously we've had like jump out scares when you've opened the supply drops and all that kind of stuff uh the, we've also had where we've had to find or do certain challenges uh, throughout the event and then there's another jump scare that happens at the end and then you get some cool exciting camo to unlock at the end of all of that and then zombies there's not much said about zombies we have had the final update for zombies anyway uh, throughout the course of modern warfare 3 however zombies maybe potentially could finally get the pvpve mode this could drop it's been in the files since like forever well since modern warfare 3 was dropped and zombies was dropped it has been in the files from right at the start of the game could we finally see it i don't know guys it would be pretty damn awesome if we did as a final ending to season 6 and obviously final ending to modern warfare 3 updates in terms of seasons now there will be a level cap as well of 1250 obviously each season we do get a brand new level cap and then you do get a uh, max level rewards for each season as well now there's still some camos to come out yet uh, a lot of animated camos that we've not yet seen i'll leave the images of them floating in the background for you guys to have a little gander at um but there's still quite a few camos we have not yet seen released into the game but there's live footage uh, out there of them so potentially all these things that are in the files that have not yet dropped we could finally be seeing towards the end of the call of duty modern warfare 3 cycle but that is everything we know so far in terms of the haunted event and season 6 let me know any thoughts and opinions down below don't forget to go check out my partner control freaks i'll leave a link down below so you can get yourself a cheeky little discount at checkout but with all being said thank you so much for tuning in and as always i'll catch you on the next video